On February 22, 2006, Zarqawi's branch of Al-Qaeda attacked one of the holiest sites in Shia Islam, the Golden Mosque in Samarra. The Shia, who are the majority sect in Iraq, decided to fight back. Violence is spreading in Iraq, a day after one of Shiite Islam's holiest shrines was attacked. Zarqawi had long sought to spark a civil war. Now he had. His confidence high, he released a video that revealed his face for the first time. We captured it. It was clearly a propaganda film. He was the visionary leader and he was the communicator for it. He was many things wrapped up in one and he was a psychopathic killer. We didn't know where he was. But by that time, even in, amongst ourselves, we talked, we said, we're gonna get him. On June 7th, 2006, a JSOC officer monitoring a feed from a drone spotted one of Zarqawi's advisors behaving suspiciously. In the course of an afternoon, he left his house in Baghdad, did a number of things, did a number of what we call counter surveillance techniques, switching vehicles. And then as soon as he got to this dwelling and drove up the driveway to this house, a guy came out and met him, dressed in all black, which was Abu Muzabba Zakawi's signature look, the Johnny Cash look, and he came to the end of this driveway. He looked left and right to see if anybody was there, and he turned and walked back. And when we saw that, we said, that's it. He's there, that's Zarqawi. And then the, the ground force commander says, okay, we're gonna drop a bomb. So we said, okay, got it. Uh, he was, you know, in, the, in a body bag. And just my sense at that moment in time was a sense of relief. But knowing what we were facing, I knew that it wasn't over. 